Hi, welcome to Learn English and Practice with Marie. Today we're going to do American English Idioms lesson number 11. We'll review five idioms and go through a couple of example sentences for each. This is a series, so if you like this video, subscribe for more. Let's get started. First, I'll read through the idioms. Cheap shot, all bark and no bite, keep an ear to the ground, make a long story short, get up on the wrong side of bed. Cheap shot. This means to take advantage of someone when they are down. So a cheap shot would be, for example, if someone was in a bar fight and was already collapsed and then uh, the person who was fighting them kicked them while they were unconscious. But it could be a much lighter meaning and uh, used in a joking sense. So if, for example, someone got a bad haircut and then uh, they saw their friend for the first time and the friend knew how bad this haircut was, they if the friend says, oh, your hair looks great today, sarcastically, that would be a cheap shot because very obviously it doesn't. Examples are, the player was fined for taking a cheap shot at his rival during the game. During the debate, she took a cheap shot at her opponent's personal life. All bark and no bite. This is someone who talks a lot, but doesn't act. So uh, my dogs, one of them in particular, is all bark and no bite. Uh, he will be very vocal. He'll bark and bark and bark and make a lot of sound. But then if faced with actual danger or approached, he doesn't do anything. He's scared and playful and happy. So a dog can be all bark and no bite, but you can use this more broadly as well. So if you have a relative who is constantly yelling at customer service people and being just awful and threatening, oh, I'm going to get this restaurant shut down if they don't change this one thing, um, but then they never do anything and they won't even tell the waiter something's wrong, that's someone who's all bark and no bite. Examples are, he talks tough, but he's all bark and no bite when it comes to actual confrontation. His threats are just for show. He's all bark and no bite. Keep an ear to the ground. This means to stay informed. All right. So if you're keeping an ear to the ground, you're not literally taking your ear and putting it on the ground, but you're listening closely to everything that you're hearing. So if, for example, at your job, you know a policy change is coming, but you don't know when and you don't know what exactly is going to happen, perhaps you're going to keep your ear to the ground. You're going to listen for any rumors, gossip, information getting passed around so that you can stay better informed. Examples are, she likes to keep an ear to the ground to stay informed about latest industry trends. He kept an ear to the ground to find out what his competitors were planning. Make a long story short. This means tell something briefly. So uh, a long story could be just an elaborate description of what happened. Maybe it was complicated. Maybe it wasn't that complicated, but you just want to shorten it. You can say, to keep a long story short, this is what happened. So an example would be, one time a meeting was supposed to get scheduled and the person in charge of scheduling it didn't do it and asked me to do it, but didn't communicate that directly. They put it in a Teams message that got very lost and I didn't even realize. And then the meeting didn't get scheduled. So I had to go back and ask that person to schedule it because I was going out of office and it was just a mess. So uh, in that case, I could say, long story short, the meeting isn't scheduled. Let's get it scheduled instead of telling that elaborate story. Examples are, to make a long story short, we missed our flight, but managed to get on another one. She went through a lot of trouble 
But to make a long story short, she finally got the job. Get up on the wrong side of bed to start the day in a bad mood. So someone who got up on the wrong side of bed is cranky. They're not very nice. They're just in a bad mood without anything bad having even happened to them. So of course, there's no right or wrong side of the bed to get up on that causes better luck or um, causes a better mood. But to say someone got up on the wrong side of bed is to say their bad attitude started the second they set foot out of their bed. So if you have a friend who starts the day complaining and upset and uh, nothing can go right for that friend, then you can say, oh, she got up on the wrong side of the bed. Examples are, he must have gotten up on the wrong side of the bed. He's been grumpy all day. After getting up on the wrong side of the bed, nothing seemed to go right for him. So again, those idioms are cheap shot, all bark and no bite, keep an ear to the ground, make a long story short, get up on the wrong side of the bed. Great job today. There are other videos like this on this channel and more are coming soon. I'll put playlists and videos right here. I'd appreciate a like on this video if you got something out of it, and I hope to see you in the next one. Thanks so much. Bye!